Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for September 7th. The scripture states, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Psalm 51 and verse 17. The path to heaven is no smoother now than in the days of our Savior. All our sins must be put away. Every darling indulgence that hinders our religious life must be cut off. The right eye or the right hand must be sacrificed if it cause us to offend. Are we willing to part with self-righteousness? Are we willing to give up our chosen worldly associates? Every association we form, however limited, exerts some influence upon us. The extent to which we yield to that influence will be determined by the degree of intimacy, the constancy of the intercourse, and our love and veneration for the one with whom we associate. Thus, by acquaintance and association with Christ, we may become like him, the one faultless example. No outward forms can make us clean. No ordinance administered by the saintliest of men can take the place of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God must do its work upon the heart. The Spirit of Christ will be revealed in all who are born of God. Strife and contention cannot arise among those who are controlled by His Spirit. To talk of religious things in a casual way, to pray for spiritual blessings without real soul hunger, And living faith avails little. The wandering crowd that pressed close about Christ realized no vital power from the contact. But when the poor, suffering woman in her great need put forth her hand and touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she felt the healing virtue. Hers was the touch of faith. Let us pray. Indeed, Father, we thank you for the opportunity to have that touch of faith. We thank you for Jesus' death on the cross. Oh, wow. Lord, thank you for this new day. Thank you for your continued love towards us, even when we don't realize. You know, as as I ponder and think on, on this reminder and this devotion today, Christ was walking through a huge crowd. It was, you know, everyone was so close. And yet, we are seeing here that there was no vital power from the contact. Those people that were pressing next to him, it meant nothing to them. But that woman who knew that Jesus Christ could heal her, she had faith. And so my mind goes to, as we go to to church, our different places of worship, Are we going there in faith, believing that Jesus can heal us, can heal our families, can heal our relationships and our situations? Lord, have mercy on us because you know what? We don't always believe that. We may believe it sometimes. Unfortunately, some of us never really believe it. But God, you are so wonderful to remind us that Jesus came to die for our sin and through your Holy Spirit, through your Holy Spirit, every time we have this opportunity to be healed, every single situation and problems that we go through, we don't have to have the burden heavy on us. You have said to us to cast it, that we can find rest in you. Oh, Lord, help us to cast and find rest in you. 
Help us to stop and pray. Help us to stop and pray. When the sadness, the frustration, the loneliness, the whatever that we're going through, anything that is unlike you, anything that doesn't speak of your joy and your peace and any of those emotions, Lord, help us to cast it on you. Help us to embrace your love. Help us to embrace the peace that you give. Our minds are going all over. There's so much anxiety and depression and all these things are upon us, dear Lord, because we are not casting our cares and burdens on you. We're not reaching out in faith for deliverance, for healing, for joy, for peace. Lord, have mercy. Why do we want to continue in chaos and crisis and dysfunction? Lord, help us, please. Please. Please, Lord. Help us to realize we have shortcomings, that we're lacking Christ. Help us to surrender. Help us to feel the guilt of our sin. Lord, help us to stop sinning over and over and over again. Lord, have mercy on us, please. Lord, have mercy on us. We get ourselves in trouble. You rescue us. And what do we do? We go back. We forget. We don't care. What is it, Lord? Do we not see time is wrapping up? Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Help us to wake up. Help us to wake up, dear Lord. Please help us to wake up. This pray, <laughs> we play Christians. We play Christians and it doesn't make any sense. Lord, help us to accept Christ truly in our hearts and mind. At this moment, Father, I just pray that you will give us your Holy Spirit. Moment by moment, Heavenly Father, everyone listening, please, in your personal prayer, please ask for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit to help that we will all make the right decisions for Christ. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek your face, turn from our wickedness. Why won't we turn from our wickedness? Why won't we seek your faith truly? Why do we pretend? Father, have mercy on us. Help us, dear Lord, I pray. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your love. Continue to be with us and guide us. Help us, please, to surrender. Help us to serve others. Help us to love. Teach us how to love. Please help us to spend time in your word. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for your blessings towards us, your love. Thank you for life. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.